hey what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new here hit the like button let's get this one rolling i don't want to talk too long but i also don't want to talk with any type of script or anything not that i ever have before i just feel that on this specific topic i want to really just speak from the heart and what i want to talk about is divine energy as i like to call it at this point so about a week and a half ago i was just hit with this profound idea and where everything you know when everything that you've kind of been studying over years just kind of hits you and makes sense so i want to just start off by saying that everything is energy right maybe some people understand that maybe some people don't understand that but literally everything around you any piece of matter the plants the table the you as a human being everything is all vibrating down at a certain level if you take a powerful enough microscope on anything you'll see that it's all just vibrating and it's all just the same energy no matter what it is and it's mostly empty space so what i mean by that is i was once told that if you take an atom which is what everything is made of if you take an atom and you have to scale it up and compare it to anything the nucleus inside of the atom the central point would be like a grain of rice inside of a full-on stadium that's how much empty space is around it so most things is just empty space and it's vibrating at this frequency but that's not really the point of the video what i'm trying to say is that everything is attached to or made up of this energy this frequency sort of this blanket that envelops everything around it and we are made of that substance everything is made of that substance the sun the moon the universe your thoughts your emotions every single thing is made of this as i call it divine energy so what is the point of all of this so when you realize that and you realize that anything that you could possibly want is all made of the same thing that you are made of then you start to realize and go oh so i am actually everything that i want already you see i am made up of the same stuff essentially i express everything that's around me anyways and so this is where why manifestation actually even works and why you can think of something and it can manifest in your reality in the 3d because it's the same substance just creating and this is where the saying that i have up the quote from the Kabbalion, which is all is in the all and the all is in all so everything is in the mind of god source energy the super conscious mind whatever people want to call it i'll just call it god even though i know that that word itself has a lot it, it kind of triggers people in certain ways but it is what it is so everything that we see around us the universe everything as far as it can stretch is all within the mind of god all is in the all but the all is in all so everything that is in that mind has a mind in itself you know that's how like a snowflake will know how to make that pattern everything has its own mind and knows what it sort of should do human beings on the other hand we have the capability of thinking you know we can think whatever we want and so we've got sort of this microcosm of a mind of the big mind this is why we can think of anything we really want and that's why creation is finished in the imagination so you can literally look at the end of something and experience the end when you're not even there so this is where why we can think about things and through the formulas and stuff that i've spoke of before actually manifest anything we want because we are essentially it's the god 
inside of us all. You know, that's what Emmanuel means, the God in me, which is one of God's names, as they even speak about in the Bible. But the point is that once you understand that, and this is where it all comes from, that, oh, I am a part of this divine energy, and I'm not even my mind, I'm not even my body. These are simply almost utilities, you know, as Sadhguru will say that the body is just an accumulation of the food you've eaten your whole life. The mind is just an accumulation of impressions you've had your entire life, but they aren't ultimately you. What you are is that source energy, the thing that is connected to everything. Everything has that source energy inside of it. And when you realize that's why the highest level of mystics and yogis will talk about once you understand that there is no separation, it's because you've kind of dissolved the mind and the body and the ego and you've, you understand that everything is one massive body. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't hurt anything. You wouldn't hurt your, or chop off your pinky, you know, cause you know, it's going to hurt. So therefore you wouldn't um, go hurt an animal because you understand that that animal is a part of you. That is like the eternal body of God. And so that's why when you do understand this, you understand that you are connected to everything that you desire and that you want anyways, and you simply just have to claim it within imagination. When you see it in your, on your mental screen, and you live in that assumption as if you already have it. The mind can't tell the difference between if it's happening in the physical world or in the mental world. And if you persist in that assumption, it shows up. So the reason why it was so profound for me, I was listening to this lecture by Dr. Joseph Murphy. It was called The Master Key to Wealth. And he was, and I don't know what it was. I was making a fire. I was... Uh, barbecuing I was brying and I was making this fire and I was listening to this on my headphones and I just sort of looked out onto the garden as, as I was listening and they had like this piano playing and it was just it was beautiful like the lecture he was giving was just so beautiful and he was saying that the own the the master key to wealth is knowing that right now, right in this moment, that your the eternal source of your supply is this divine energy. That everything that you can see around you that is in this complete abundance is within you. That is your wealth. And when you know that, you have so much access to it. Then it's like you become wealth conscious. And once and that's why they say you don't get what you want, you get what you are. And it starts with that, that divine energy. It starts with that knowing of, wow, there's, there's so much abundance all around me, meaning that there's so much abundance within me. And I was looking at the grass and the blades of grass, and I was looking at the blue, it was such a beautiful day, the blue sky and the wind blowing. And I was like, wow, there's so much blades of grass on this planet. I couldn't even, you wouldn't. You would never be able to count it all. And the, like the abundance of green that was just all over the garden. And I looked at the sky and it was so blue. And I was like, wow, there's so much blue. And it's just, it's overwhelming how much abundance there is out there. And then realizing that this divine energy is the source of my supply. My, my health, my wealth, my love, everything. My harmony, my peace. It's all there and if it's all around me then it's all within me you know as above so below as within so without and i promise you like there was just i was like smiling at this and the next thing i knew there was just tears like running down my face and it was like i had this illuminating moment where i was like what this is crazy like look how much is around like how could you ever lack you can't lack, it's impossible because we have everything that we have ever wanted that's within us. And I just, I, 
I was so close to this divine energy and I didn't want to, to let it go. I, 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 I couldn't let it go. And at any moment of the day where I felt that I was away from it, I, I, I did everything I possibly could to get back to it. And that was essentially just sitting down, closing my eyes, doing just breathing slowly and precisely and almost finding that spot in the chest where it is it's kind of just this pulsating and i and it was weird because i looked at the fire that i was making and i looked at it very similar to that divine energy where there was just these little coals and as i was blowing on it i was just blowing on these embers and these embers were slowly getting hotter and hotter and this heat was just rising and rising and rising and getting hotter and hotter until it was just expressing itself as this raw heat where I couldn't even stand close to it. I looked at that very similar to the energy that I was feeling inside of me and I've been using that fire as an example to keep tapping into it. Every night before bed, every morning before I wake up, it's like the... The energy will sort of subside and you just you blow on them and you keep lighting those embers and it fills you here completely and i promise you when i feel like i feel it right now it's just in my chest it's so tickly and it's, it's i feel so blissful i feel intoxicated and high and when i feel like this honestly it's like i don't need anything else it's so strange how it's impossible to feel lack it's impossible to feel sad or depressed or anything because I have everything. Everything is with me. And so when they say like with real prayer is you're not asking something outside of you for anything. It's all within you. So you are claiming things from the divine energy because the money you want is made of the same substance that's in you. The same substance that you're utilizing is the same substance that you create from and you ask for it you know they say you haven't asked yet so ask for what you want and don't ask as if it's separate from you claim it decree it declare it and it's just really phenomenal how it's all just there inside of you the whole time it's not anywhere else and this is this divine energy it's this vortex that spins and the more you concentrate on it the more you don't need anything uh, and a lot of things that i've wanted i've started sort of showing up in my life just by focusing on this divine source the source of my supply and i kind of feel like this is the best way of letting go of your manifestations because it's not that you're letting go in terms of you feeling lack or you feeling frustrated that nothing's showing up so you're giving up on it it's more that you're just focusing on where everything comes from. And that is the most important part of it all. And I mean, I could speak about this for an hour. Honestly, as I'm speaking, I can just feel it glowing and growing. But that's just going to be it for me today on this topic. I'm, I'll definitely speak about this more. I can't stop speaking about it. So, as always... If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Share it with someone who needs to know this. I mean, I feel like I want everybody to feel this feeling. If you, if everybody felt this feeling, you wouldn't want anything. You wouldn't need anything. Here's a quick moment, story before I go. It was like 4 o'clock the afternoon the other day. I had just been engulfed with the flames of this divine energy. And it was like 4 o'clock and I was like, I haven't even eaten today. <laughs> I was so full. I was just full of everything. And it's just, wow. I just wish everybody could feel like this. Um, and yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I see we got some new people in. Um, and yeah, we'll just keep going one video at a time. Thanks for watching. Old videos are over there, over there, and you can subscribe over here, and I'm out. Peace.